Hello, everybody. Hopefully, you guys like my new mic stance. But, um, I need to, like, get this close to my face so you guys can actually hear me. Um, today I bring you, with you, a new game. So, I went through the entire game because, well, let's be honest, I'm not just gonna. I'm not gonna run this for hours, but I'm just gonna do like a story time, like a story time gameplay. Cause to be honest, to be honest, uh, I'm not the kind of person that waits hours and hours for a YouTube video and then go into editing it. So I'm just gonna post like an hour long video, and it's gonna be like, it's just gonna be like um, what you call it? Story time, we're just playing a game, and I tell you guys about my life so that you guys get to know me more. But this is actually a pretty good game. Like, I I'm I have my resolutions on full. I have my resolutions on full, and it, it's actually running pretty well. This doesn't require internet. It doesn't take up... I don't think it takes up... Alright, so back to what I was saying very rudely after I was being interrupted. Um, uh, this is going to be like a story time video where I just answer or I guess tell you guys about my life and how it's been going, stuff like that. So you guys get to know me some more because... So as I was saying, there is going to be like, I'm just going to like tell you guys about my life so you guys get to know me. Alright, but I think I am going to, what am I going to do? I, I want this woman to shut up. Uh, sound quality, speaker configuration. Uh, I'm on headphones. Audio, spoken language. I'm on English. Silence audio while game window in the background. What? I just want to turn off the fin. Um, what's it call it? The sound from the Zoom. You know, I can just do that. I guess that's fine. Alright, let's resume the game. So, I'm just gonna tell you guys about my life so you get, you get to know me some more. Which, to me, it doesn't sound like a very bad idea. So, where to start? So, when I was, like, six years old, I started playing Minecraft. Let me tell you, that experience sucked, because I wasn't playing it very much. Like, I don't, I don't want to play a game that's very low quality and stuff like that. But now, since I get to play it on a computer... It's a lot easier for me to do things on a computer than it is, like, a phone or a tablet. I'm not saying that I don't have a phone or a tablet. I have a phone. But, to be honest, I don't really have a tablet. So, yeah. Oh, what we're doing now is we're just waiting for this. Alright. Do options. Audio, and I'll do game volume th set to three, so you guys can still hear me, but um, you can also not think about the girl in the, or the voice in the background. We're on two of 19, and that's our first portal gun. So we have to go through the portal over here. And we have to grab this thing. Yeah, you would think. I doubt that. Alright. 
Alright. So, I want to tell you about the weirdest thing I've done in my life. So this thing that happens pretty recently, actually, when like I like dropped out of elementary school, because the two places, where the two um, schools where I live, uh, like it's fair. That's close enough for, to be at there, like doing so. Is it, they, those two suck? So I'm story time on how. My freaking schools suck. Alright. So, at the first, at the first school, it was like, landmark school, which is terrible. The principal, there was like, a principal there, er, that's like, oh, Libra, we're helping you though. Oh, uh, I'm like, no, you're not. All you guys did was in like, sixth grade, you know, when we were moving up to seventh grade, is move the two of my bullies at the time. I'm in uh, two different classrooms, but I need more help. Like, that's, that's not it. I don't just need that. Like, I need more than just that kind of help. You know? So, so was, I didn't manage to tell them that because well, I'm a seventh grader. I'm, I'm not used to speaking out. But after I dropped out of that school, I dropped out of the school because my mom, ironically, came to the classroom to help out teachers as like a charity job, and she was like applying for like a substitute at the time. I think it was a substitute. She needed like practice. She needed practice to do so. And so that me that means that uh, that means that after after she came into the class. For a second time, I I couldn't listen to I couldn't hear the teacher or stuff like that. So it was so bad that um all right. So what was so I need to explain the school a little bit. Well, so how the school was is like the 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 kids in my classroom. I don't know what, hang on, I don't know why these people thought it was a good idea to put all these terrible acting kids in one classroom. It's a stupid idea. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty stupid. But, yeah. So, when it... The main problem on what made me leave the school was the fact was the fact that um my mom when she was working inside of that classroom um to help the teachers out for charity job and to get like her um her, her substitute license or whatever the hell you call it um was so that or, or what happens and why she pulled me out. Of that school was because she all she saw all of the kids there, like being super loud, and like the teacher could not teach. Like it was like nothing could be done, and so I had had my head down because I'm like I'm not I'm I'm just kind of not paying attention to this because there's I'm not gonna learn anything either way due to these kids. So. This, this, it was like, this, it was, felt, it felt like a living hell, just more hell, and what was going on here was that, was that after my mom pulled me out, it was because I had my head down, and these kids all of a sudden decided, hey, let's pick on this kid. So one of them blurted out loud, "Hey, this one has his head down. Teacher, can you do something about that?" And first off, there's nothing wrong with having your head down. And second off, why are you guys yelling? Why are you guys not letting the teacher teach her stuff? Uh, and and so the teacher came over and was like, 
Hey, Libra, can you lift your head up? And Twitch, I ignored her. Hey, it sounds like I am a terrible one, but she's listening to the students. She's listening to the students for some reason. That's why I was ignoring her. So, so that's why my mom pulled me out. But there's more stories than just that. Before, before I was like leaving that school, my mom witnessed a kid like pushing me. Uh, my mom witnessed a kid pushing me, and he was, and he was like, I'm like yelling at him to stop, and I'm like having the right to self defense. Which, by the way, yes, I do actually have the right to self defense in this situation. Like, if he keeps pushing me, I have the right. I hate to just like hit him or something like that uh, to defend myself from getting hurt. So yeah. So then after the teachers managed to get him stop, uh, like my mom as well. Oh, like my mom. My mom is actually a great mom. She's she what she did it is she's like. Well, you said, why are you doing this? And I didn't, I thought the kid was just like pushing me for fun. But no, what this kid was doing is he was getting another kid to come push me, to push him so that he has the excuse to push me. Which, yeah, pretty fucked up thing to do. But, um, hey, this is elementary school. Every single, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no other kid was like this. No other kid was like this. So, yeah, still a pretty fucked up thing to do. And my mom witnessed it. I didn't really know this. I thought, I thought the kid at the time was just being a dick. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. This kid is pushing me. And, but no, my mom witnessed that herself. But, uh, yeah. So, and then, that's not it, like, these other kids, um, these other kids are just saying, like, ooh, he's cussing, and I'm just saying stuff like, get the fuck away from me, like, I don't want to talk to you guys, leave me the fuck alone, and they're just, they're just like, oh, miss, they're like, miss as in my mom, like, miss, he's cussing. And, and she's witnessing them, like, cussing ten times more than me. And so my mom was like, like, well, maybe you should stop cussing too. Which, that sounded very embarrassing for her. Like, yeah, it would be very embarrassing if she found out that it's like, oh, no, I'm going to get in trouble or something like that. But yeah, my mom put justice to the correct placement, and and did the right thing. So she noticed noticed that, and like these kids, like not just that, but I was acting pretty normal at school for the most part. Just I'm just like sad that I have to go through this. And my mom saw this, and she asked the teacher, "Hey, does my does Libra usually act like this?" And the teacher obviously said yes. And uh, I, I was pretty, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty nice to actually hear the teacher actually telling the truth, something like that. Because usually teachers don't tell the truth because, like, they don't like those kids and stuff like that. But I like my teacher be the, at the time because uh, she, because she was pretty cool with the kids. She only followed the rules when they needed to be followed, like put your phone away and stuff like that. But not much more from it. There's not much more she asked from us. Alright, there was not much that she asked from us, but next school, which is, like, way worse, they were, like, bullying me, 
he obviously, but we're not done with the school that I'm talking about right now. So let's get it back to that. There was these kids that was sexually harass me. I don't mean they would put like their hands on my ass or something. No, they would be like, like, well, I'm gonna touch you if you don't do this thing, or I'm gonna suck your dad's dick or something like that. It was, it was very weird. And I'm like, like, the fuck is wrong with you? Is so. So what's going on right there? Is these kids were just being dicks over and over. And to think about it, to be honest, they weren't much of a big problem. They stopped after they got four. I'm just like, like, so yeah, they stopped after they got bored of doing it to me, which is actually not very good advice to just ignore someone doing these awful, awful things to you. That is not good advice. You need to be, like, you need to step up. And, like, if if these, uh, if these teachers are telling you to do stuff, like, just ignore it. Like, they want a reaction out of it. Nope, they want to torture you. They want to torture you. They don't, they don't want a reaction out of it. They know exactly what's going on inside of your mind. It's just like, like, oh my god. Like, they know that you are freaking pissed. So, yeah, ignoring it isn't gonna help because they know that they know that you they know that you are, like, pissed and stuff. Uh, and they want that to keep happening. That's what entertains me. And they're just like, oh, I wonder what's going on inside of his mind right now. I wonder what how pissed he's being. So, yeah, ignoring it is not the right thing to do. What you need to do is get, like, video evidence of it. But in my situation, I didn't need video evidence. Because my mom was there. And she, when she pulled me out, she went up to the principal and was like, like, you are the worst principal in, I've seen in my days. And and she, like, stepped up for me. And she's like, like, you need to do your fucking job and actually do something. And not just that, but when these teachers, or these teachers were, were, when the teachers, like, called up the main office, they are like, hey, can you send someone over? Or we need, like, backup for a situation. And, and then, surprise, surprise, no one came. Like, oh, why? Why? No one came. At all. No one came at all. Um, it's, it was like nobody even cared. And, yeah. So, when they called, no one was sent down. No one was, uh, uh, no one, she didn't, like, the principal didn't do anything about it. They called, they're like, hey, we need some help over here disciplining these kids. Uh, can you send someone over here to help? Alright, yeah, we'll do it. No one came. Just none of that. So, yeah, this is a terrible principal. And this is pretty much the situation that I was in for a pretty long period. It was just like that for a long time. But after I managed to get pulled out of that school, I went to, um, what should I call it, Smith, which is quite possibly worse. Because I didn't get bullied as much as you think I, I did. No, the main problem here is that I got my credit card stolen. Yeah, I, I legit got my credit card stolen. And it was like, his credit card wasn't, like, a cheap thing. And, you know, these were, this, someone spent, like, so someone spent, like, seven bucks on Uber Eats with my card. And you guys seen the YouTube video about this where I was complaining. I was, like, I, I was, like, telling how terrible these schools are and that you should not go to them. And, I, I, like, I was saying how I got my credit card stolen and I didn't appreciate that. Because I sold my Switch, that was like Switch money. I sold my Switch, uh, like my Nintendo Switch, I loved that thing, and I sold it for my YouTube channel. So, to see someone 
and steal it, maybe think like, oh no, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. But, uh, here I am now. I spent $10 on this game, so fuck those people. So yeah, we, I managed to do it. So yeah, I'm still rocking strong because it was only $7. I canceled the card and stuff like that. Uh, and all that uh, went. And I'm inside of a much better better place now. I dropped out of the elementary schools entirely. But my mom is kind of signing me up for, whatchamacallit, an online school if our plans don't go according to plan. But I think it's about time that I should tell you that I am moving because it's like a week from us moving. And so I'm moving. Like, I'm moving, moving. I'm moving to different houses. I'm going to be in a much better school. Rating is like a 7 out of 10. And it's a lot better than our schools, to tell you that much. But, uh. But, uh, it's a lot. It should be a lot better. But if I get bullied, I'm going. I'm going straight to the office. I ain't complaining that they should do something. And it, like, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going up with this far bullshit again. And I am complaining. But uh, the thing that I did that got them in a lot of trouble is I didn't complain about that. Like, if someone does one small thing, like, like, oh, they pushed you. Ooh, what you, what I did is I waited until they pushed me a lot of times, and then I would complain about it, it like, oh, this kid pushed me seven times, like, they pushed me seven freaking times, do something about it, and, and if it was just one thing, it, they would be like, I'll oh, suck it up, it's not that bad, but no, oh, if there was like seven things, they would do something about it, and that's what I did. Now, I'm not telling you to do that, like, it's not a very good idea, but it worked, but inside of your situations, it, it probably wouldn't work, but it worked in my situation, but if you find a good way to take care of these situations, then, then do it, yeah, you can tell other people about it, but you can't tell them to do that specifically, but that's just what I did. So, one thing that you probably need to know about these places is that it's a lot less simple than just being like, uh, just being like, oh, just ignore it. So that's the lesson from this story. But on to the, um, Smith School. Alright, let's see here. I need to put this thing, like, right here. Gotta wait for this thing to go back through. There it is. Alright, cool. So, on to Smith. Now, there was actually a lot of weird stories that come from this. The reason why I left is because, one, I got my credit card stolen. Two, uh, two, I wasn't able to catch the theft or credit card fraud. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. But, uh, not only could I not catch the, uh, that dude... But but two teachers that was saw these uh, that was saw this that was like right next to me didn't see these terrible terrible things that was happening. I'm not naming any names, of course. But uh, what these teacher did, the teachers did, is they is they were helping like other students that were like right next to me, and then these things were happening. These things were happening. That are just like, like that. What are what am I supposed to say? Hey, like, how would I describe it? These things were happening. Like some kid, uh, I can't yet quite confirm who it is. But some kid was just, it was just like, hey, it was just like, um, it was just like poking me in the ass with a pencil, constantly touching me, yeah, etc. But uh, yeah. That's pretty much what's happening here. But, but um, after complaining about the, this, um, there was one time where there was a kid 
that it took my phone. I have in this school, I had my phone, which is the one that was inside of this case. I got a new phone, I upgraded, but uh, um, inside of this school, this kid, again, not naming any names, but uh, he like took my phone off of the desk and he hid it behind his leg. And my phone it had like a phone case which has a you know, wallet on it. This is my a car car and what do you and I and I know this for a fact but because otherwise he wouldn't steal my phone. But he took my credit card out of there. I like like he he took my credit card out of there. I didn't know I didn't realize this until after I got home or got back to my house. But uh my credit card was gone. So yeah. So much I can do about that now. But uh it's something I guess. To be honest, I wasn't able to catch him. I couldn't gather evidence against him. Because the teachers that should have taught us saw this didn't like th this was in like an art class and the art teacher did not see this. I wonder why. But he wasn't helping another kid. He he wasn't doing that. He was just like on his phone. He he was on his phone. Terrible teacher. Um, he was on his phone looking at like dank memes or something like that, uh, and he didn't see this happen. I wonder why teachers aren't allowed to have phones in their class or, or more, just like cell phones, not just phones in general, like cell phones. But he was on his phone bragging about how much more subscribers he has than me. And I'm like, well, I guess that's kind of impressive. But, well, he he's most likely been doing this for years. I just started. But, uh, what's, what was happening and is he was... After that, he kept searching on, like, the YouTube or whatever, and the dude took the phone, he grabbed the credit card out, and since we only have, like, the art, art class on, like, Fridays or whatever, or, um, then that means that, uh, uh I, you know, I, that mean, means that I, uh, what can I call it, I, I had to wait till next Friday to t tell him that about this and he's like oh you should have came to me sooner i'm like you know you, you, i had to wait a week for the this but uh, of course i didn't say that and like i'm in seventh grade i don't know how they're gonna react like i wasn't prepared for him to say stuff like that so yeah i'm all, uh, so he's just like well first off you're gonna need to move and uh, and he did not do anything about the stolen credit card. That motherfucker. Oh, God. But he didn't do anything to help. He was just like, oh, well, this kid always sits there, so you may want to move. And, yeah, so, after that, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm not staying inside of the school. I'm going to tell my mom about uh, this, and I'm just going to leave. And, like, my mom knows about the stolen credit card. Yeah, she she's on board with that stuff. She knows about these stolen things and why the kids are doing this thing. Because she believes me. From that other school, they were treating me so poorly that it was almost mandatory to listen to your freaking son when he asks for stuff like help. And these teachers aren't doing anything about this. To help so after that like at the end of class where I'm thinking yeah I'm definitely leaving this was like the same day where the teachers are like, like oh yeah this test is kind of like it depends on your life future or whatever I know I I I knowing things off of like reddit and stuff like that uh, I know that's bullshit because listen they they want uh, these people are think and like, oh, they're kind of uh, want to know how you stuff or um like bullshit, because these people want to see how good you are, not how well you you are when you started. Like, 
they they want the best people for the job, right? So why would they see what you are then? Like, why would they want to know what, how you started, you know? So, and, and I know that's bullshit because of absolute proof. Because, well, people don't need this stuff. They don't need the information for this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I took care of that situation. But after, uh, after he explained that all to us, we were, like, done with the test. It was like noon, like evening, I think that's the right word. It was like the evening, and it was, and these two kids are just like, like, stop talking to us. Like, I got moved because I was constantly sitting in the middle of the desk, and I did that. Well, this was like a desk, this was like an all-in-one desk that, that can hold like four people. This is an all-in-one desk that can hold, like, four people. And so I was sitting in the middle because this kid, uh, this other kid, was constantly, like, kicking my feet. And they were, like, constantly kicking in my feet. So, so I was, uh, I, I was just like, hey, hey, I'm not moving from the middle because I am not going to be uh, moving. And I'm just like, I'm not going to be moving. And uh, for uh, away from the middle and t in my assigned seat, because these kids are saying stuff like, like, oh, it's very cramped in here, or, like, suck it up, you guys are 7th graders. Like, do you want to be, yeah, or I probably shouldn't say, like, suck it up, you guys are 7th graders. To be honest, it really shouldn't matter if you're 2nd graders or not, I understand why they were pissed, but I didn't move, because the teachers didn't really do much about it. It, like, if they wanted me to move, they would have told, like, the teachers and stuff, and thing. But, um, but I told them why I was sitting in the middle, and, and, and they were just like, well, tough noodles, you're gonna have to move from the middle. And, and so I was just like, like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, unless something is done about this. And... Well, something was done about it. After they told the teacher about this, I was the one that had to move. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, I'm not doing anything wrong here. Like, all I'm doing is that I'm not inside of the correct position because these uh, these kids are uh, these kids are keeping kicking my feet. So yeah, there's not much I can do here. I'm not gonna be the one moving. It, it, I'm not going to be the one moving uh, to a different seat if I'm not the one causing these problems, you know? So, yeah. After that, after that situation was dealt with, I had to move to the next seat. And I tried to get myself comfortable with the kids that I was sitting with. Because, well, why wouldn't you? But, um... But, uh... But after I was trying, they were like, uh, I have ADHD, so sometimes I just go, oh, talking. I just like talking because I'm bored. So, yeah. So I was like talking to these kids, and they're like, we don't care about your random shit. And they were just yelling at me. And after like the third time I've done this, is I'm telling them like, can I just talk? And they're just like, one of the kids are just like, like, well, no one cares about your goddamn life. All, all, all people care is that you die in a hall. And it was very rude. And so after that, I, I, my mom picked me up. And I, I've never seen that school since. And I can only imagine the, the, um, the dude's like, oh, wait, did I go too far for that? Yeah, I, I'm wondering, like, that's actually maybe, like, a concern for him on how much he's bullying. Well, um, yeah. After that situation, never seen that school since. And, yeah. So, that, that's, that's my school stories. 
that's my school stories, but uh, there's not much else to talk about in my life. But uh, the thing is that uh, after all this, th all this, I this stops happening. Like after all this, uh, uh, my YouTube started blowing up. I got like 17 subscribers, and yeah, and things have been a lot better. I've been a lot happier. It didn't feel like a living hell. I started being more social. Like I'm talking to people now. Oh, like with my fan family and stuff like that. Uh, and it used to just be like I want to play video games, but now it's like, like uh, I can't. And video games are kind of boring, but uh, but I I suppose it's fine now. All right. So uh, yeah, I was being I was like a lot happier during that time. All right. So what else to talk about? All right. So let's see here. Hey, what portal I use for that area? Okay, I use the orange one. Alright, so it should activate that one. Alright. So, when I was, like, younger, when I was, like, homeschooled in the first and second grade, but, uh, but, um, my mom um, was like, we need to get you to a school or something like that. But during that first and second grade period, period I was like inside of the something called the Boys and Girls Club, uh, and it sucked ass. Like there is this grown up. I'm not naming names, of course, but there is this dude who is like, "Hey, let's play like kick off the thing or something or other." And what he did was he allowed these kids to kick each other off of a playground, and one of them like pushed my sister at the time off the railings of the playground and guess what happened she got a broken freaking arm so terrible oh um terrible club and that I, I would assume that guy got fired like he is a terrible person i have no idea why he d allows this stuff like i'm okay with the him doing stuff like hey everybody let's do uh, let's play like who can get to, who can get to the top of the playground first in the shortest amount of time, or yeah, who can get to the top of the playground in the shorter amount, shortest amount of time? I'm fine with those challenges, but the other challenges, the other challenges were like, like keep them off the playground, and kids will just push each other, they'll kick each other off, and overall, he was just a bad person. They like, do not get get near him from that, and well, it's just stuff like that that makes me like have anger issues and stuff like that. Like it, I know I haven't brought this up on my channel, oh, but this part is gonna get a bit personal for me. I used to have anger issues. Now, due to therapy, it did help. Oh, I helped it a lot. I've been being more social with my family. Now that I'm a lot smarter, I'm smarter about it. It was like, I, I'm just like, um, yeah, it's fine now, it's reasonable. But I'm not like throwing things at my siblings anymore. Like, I, I, I've i grown out of that phase, or like, therapy have helped me grow out of that phase. And I'm doing a lot better now. But, um,. But it used to be pretty bad, because I wasn't inside of the best lifestyle at the time. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. But at the time, uh, at the time, I knew that I shouldn't do this stuff inside of anywhere else except for my home. And I was complaining to my parents, like, 
why are you guys making me do this? Like, I don't want to be inside of a place that, tra and that treats me like absolute trash. But, uh, that uh, situation was, in fact, dealt with. Alright. So, we got out of that area. Thankfully. And, it was just like, yay. When I was done with the, I was like, yay, this stuff is done with now. So, oh, damn it. So, after that was done, done with, and, or not done with, necessarily. But, during the middle of that, um, I, that's when I went to school. But, that's also the time where, or I, Joe was being, saying bullshit stuff, like, like, oh, if you could do this for me, I'll give you a bag of Takis. And I'm asking you about the Takis the next day. And he's like, oh, I'll get you tomorrow. Tomorrow later. Oh, can I get those Takis now? Oh, I'll do it tomorrow once I actually have the money for it. Bitch, you made a promise to me and you didn't even have the money for it? Like, not just that, but when we had a fire drill, oh, he's, he's like, hey, hey, whoever stays quiet... It the longest, I'll buy you a bag of Takis, and I'm the only one that was staying quiet. Everybody else was talking to each other. And not only did they not notice this, but they were, they were, were like, uh, yeah, yeah, that was just like, like some sort of bullshit or something. So yes, they didn't say that. Uh, they were just like, like, oh, we'll get it, like, we'll get you with it sometime later. They didn't actually say that. They it just ignored me entirely. Alright. So, those are all bullshit sentences, or not bullshit. Those are all me being sarcastic, because what these people actually did is they decided to, uh, they decided to, that it was a good idea or to do something. What, 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 was, what am I doing? Um, they decided that it was a good idea to not pay attention and just be like, Hey, you guys, well, get a bag of Takis if you guys stay quiet. And only a handful of kids were staying quiet in that. And it's like, it's like, um, yeah, we'll give you the, those bags of Takis next time. And again, bullshit. But, uh, it was dealt with after a fair amount of times. So yeah, those are some of the terrible, terrible things I had to go through in my childhood. But uh, yeah. So uh, before I went to any sort of thing like that, it was like, it was like um, I was like homeschooled by my mom. Because, well, poor kids are hard to deal with sometimes. Well, and that's why she transferred us. Uh, but my mom wasn't a very good mom at the time. I am like, she's doing better at raising us now. I'm not blaming her for me having anger. Well, I am blaming her for me having anger issues. But I I'm saying, like, I forgive her. She's trying her best now. But... It wasn't very good back then. And I'm not going to get into it very much without her permission to tell the story on YouTube. But, yeah, the things haven't been the best. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Uh... Searching for other things to talk about. Talking about like the weird things that girls did back inside of like Smith. Was, they were just like, oh my god, it's Lever Wilcox or some shit like that. And one of them, a group of girls came out to me. It was just like, like hey, you come out with new merch yet? Yeah. And I'm just thinking, why are you guys walking up to me? Like, I know I'm a YouTuber, but I'm not famous. 
only a handful of kids in my school actually know that I do YouTube. Like, I told people about it, not too much, really just, like, my friends and stuff like that, or people that I knew enough to tell them about it. Like, I didn't trust be you know, like, people knowing stuff that I did. So, yeah. So, yeah, I wasn't too comfortable with telling kids that. But it did manage to get it dealt with after I left that school. Alright, so continuing the story on when these girl, a group of girls um, came up to me. They were just like, one of them was like, oh, can I sit in your lap? I'm like, fuck no. Yeah, I, I know I'm not necessarily the kind of guy. I, um, I know I'm not the kind of guy, I, well, I'm the kind of guy that can get, uh, aroused, but I don't feel any romantic re rela relationship with anybody. Like, I don't feel, like, a romantic relationship with something, or, like, marriage. I don't feel like getting marriage or having a strong relationship with something. Yeah, I don't get that. I'm pretty sure it's called a romantic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But, uh, essentially, it, it's just, like, you don't feel feelings for someone, but you can get, like, aroused and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna turn on my fan. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but whatever. I, uh, it's getting really sweaty in this room. After I moved to Wisconsin, that's not going to really be much of a problem, to be honest. It actually snow. my mom um, told me it like, rains like once a week there. And I'm like, hell yeah, we don't get any rain in Arizona. And when it gets cold enough, like it, it gets pretty cold in uh, whatever the hell it's called. I forgot, like Greenland or something, I forgot. I was just... I was just like, hell yeah. And you get, like, a normal lifestyle now. Like, the average fun life with someone. We're not going to be able to, we're not going to have to live inside of an area where there's a bird. We're, we're not going to have to live inside of the, a bird that's made out of the fucking sun. Like, we don't have to deal with that anymore. So, yeah, that's why I was pretty excited about the whole thing. Alright. Alright, what else should I talk about? Alright. Thinking of things to talk about. What should I talk about? Uh, I guess I can talk about my, uh, TikTok. Like, uh, I have a TikTok. is like... Uh, labor at 12 or something. Yeah, I know it's got like my default name for YouTube, but it's got like a 12th at the end of it. I'll probably like put it up on, on the screen or something. But uh, yeah, give me one second. I need to do something. Like someone's calling me name or something. So, back to storytelling. 
Alright, so, what to talk about. On, I guess, on my TikTok, you guys can find more about me. But I, I guess I can give you behind-the-scenes tips about my TikTok videos. Because, in my latest one, where I was eating, like, doing, like, the spicy challenge with no reactions or something like that, I took Takis. What I did is I took Takis, and I... And I like turn. I put some spicy sauces on, on them. And then what the, what went terribly wrong wasn't like the takis themselves or something. No, what went wrong is the fact that that milk that you saw in the video probably uh well it was expired milk. So I got really sick after that. Like it wasn't what you would have expected it to be. It definitely was expired milk. My, uh, brother told me so. So, yeah. Alright. So, I need to put this here. Not there. Ah. Alright. But, uh, yeah. And, the fact that my... Bro or one of my brothers kept zooming it was kept trying to be funny with the video and kept like zooming in on random things like soon after like like a few seconds after I started eating the food it, it, like she it, like he was like like zooming in on random things that wasn't what needed to be zoomed on, in on so you know, stuff like that happens so he did that and yeah I, not only did i eat too much but it was also like he didn't understand how the camera works like so yeah i had to redo that video several times and i got really sick because of the amount amount of times that i ate the freaking expired milk or i guess not ate technically but drinking the expired milk but yeah. Alright. What's to talk about? Alright. Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end. I think I'm gonna end this part one right here. So this part one, I'm gonna end this off right here. So you can't, you can't, you have to do the, yeah, yeah, you can't just hit F11. And you have to do, you have to turn it into like a tab manually. So, and that, that's the only way for me to stop the recording. So hopefully you guys learned something or two about me. I should probably close my Discord. And I will see you next time.